Maximilian. Little did little 20 year old me know that I was going to be marrying the boy that I met at a random lake day at Grapevine Lake. Meeting you, I felt an instant connection as though we were soulmates. We just clicked. It was only through pure, pure serendipity that I met my forever best friend that day. But here we are today, over four years later, dressed in black and white, saying I do and making this official. To this day, we have spent 1,545 days together, laughing, loving, learning, growing, and I couldn't imagine it any other way with any other person. <clears throat> For me, it has always been you, you as my partner in this life, you as my shoulder to lean on, you as my biggest supporter, you as my best friend, and you as my go-to for everything. I guess it's true what they say. You don't marry the person you can live with, but you marry the person you can't live without. Which is so true for me. I couldn't live without you. Maximilian, I vow I will always be there when you fall and help you get back up again on your feet. I vow, I vow to always travel beside you through all the life's adventures. I vow to respect your opinions even at times we may disagree. I promise I will never go a day without giving you a kiss and telling you I love you. <laughs> I promise I will be your biggest cheerleader and support you through all, your, through all of your dreams. I promise I will be your personal Google Calendar and your forever alarm clock since you never remember and you need help waking up. I promise I will be there to remind you to take your vitamins and drink your water so that we can live a long, long life together. Max, I can't promise that I'll be the perfect wife because we all know how stubborn I can be, but I promise to choose our love every single day through the good times and the not so good times. Your selflessness for others and your generous heart have always felt like home for me and today might marks a lifetime of always coming home to you. I count my blessings with you and am as grateful and as thankful as can be for you and everything you have done, everything you are doing, and everything that you're continuing to do for me and our life. I couldn't ask for a greater husband and provider to spend the rest of my life with. But there's one thing I can't get over, and that's how a girl like me, who'd have been fine with three, wind up with a five-leaf clover. I love you. Bianca, if you told me that on our lake day, that four years, two months, 31 days later, that I'd be marrying the woman I just threw off of my jet ski, I would have said that you were crazy. At that time of my life, I couldn't have been more conflicted with what I deserved and what I needed to be happy and healthy. And ever since the moment I met you, I found out what it meant to be truly loved. In this past four years, we have been through undeniably beautiful times, as well as crippling stress. And no matter the incident, we have always continued to grow and flourish as a couple. Your unending desire to look out for what's best for me and your constant drive to always improve the relationship have always inspired me and are what I love the most about you. I promise to be the best provider I can be for you, not only fiscally, like money was, but emotionally. I promise to support you always and to keep our relationship at the forefront, no matter what life throws our way. We're not now only husband and wife, but we're partners in this life together. We're family. I love you more than I could ever describe.
much. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs>